Yeah, so um, I once stayed in Nevada. My dad actually grew up in Ohio, mm. and uh, he was a two-time Ohio State champ there. He actually named me after a wrestler, Gray Simons, who was the coach at Old Dominion, went to Lock Haven, uh, a couple-time NCAA champion. Mm. Anyways, um, after my 10th grade, my dad and me made a deal, um, you know, if I win state and you know, not even get taken down and grades are good. We'll talk about going back to Ohio to compete back there because, you know, Ohio is probably, if not the best state, one of the best states. That was it. It know, was there, people. Arizona or Oklahoma, right? Yeah. Right. Well, now it's New Jersey. New Jersey's really good. California, uh, you know, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Right. And, um, Anyways, it was the number one school in the nation, mm -hmm. like back and forth um, with a couple different schools. And, and we made that deal. And, you know, I won state, kept my grades good. And, and uh, he got me back out there. Wow. I went to live with my aunt and uncles and kind of jump around, you know, houses. And uh, my parents stayed back in in uh, uh Las Vegas, and um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, just drove my car out there, and yeah, and wow. you know had about two years of just going all over the place. Anyways, the point being, um, there was a wrestler that came through my high school that actually got the assistant job at at state, you know, and mm -hmm. um, we connected, and and uh, you know, ultimately chose. Um, uh, to go to Michigan State between like ASU, U of M, wow. you know, a couple of different schools. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think you know. That's amazing to hear you detail it, and and you know, I don't. Th you're like a a natural born competitor. Even as a high schooler, you were ready to uproot your life and commit to that regime. And then college is a whole nother yeah. level. Yeah, and people may not be aware of this, but you were Olympic ladder. You were you were. A, collegiate all-star like legitimately like 160 yeah. matches or something like it was like, like yeah. a pretty crazy record right yeah yeah <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a lot of wrestling it was a lot of wrestling i was a three-time all-american yeah. you know ultimately i didn't really meet my goals that that i had in like high school going on to college mm. um you know and that's that's just uh you know a lot of people would kill to be a three-time all-american but yeah. like you know, for me, it was, you know, I wanted to be a three-time champ. And, right. uh, but, um, you know, and that's what drives us, right? I'm always looking for, like, for new goals and new ways to push myself and be uncomfortable. And, and mm -hmm. um, you know, that's probably what got me going more into uh, MMA, right? right? Maybe if I was a three-time champ, you know, I might still be coaching in college but yeah. you know i wanted to keep competing and and uh um you know wor worked on the olympics in 2004 right you know and that was just a tough tough road mm -hmm. and uh you know ended up moving back to las vegas and um 